Hey everyone, this is Julia and you're watching the next video on JetPoint Builder plugin. We always pay attention to the comments, questions and suggestions you guys leave on our social media. And some of you have been asking how to redirect a form to a thank you page. So in this video, I decided to shed some light and show you how we can be easily done with the JetPoint Builder. By the way, if you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And now, let's get started! So guys, this video will consist of two parts. In the first one, I will show you the easiest way on how to redirect your form to a thank you page. For this variant, you need the JetForm Builder only. But there will be an option to personalize a thank you page by adding a user's name. I promise it won't be super hard to do, but in this case you will need the Jet Engine plugin as we will be using a custom post type, meta fields, and listings. And the second part will be fully about hiding the section with the form using dynamic visibility. I included this option for those of you who don't want to create a whole separate thank you page. This way you will be able to hide the form after the submission and leave only a message of success visible to the user. And in case you're using WooCommerce, there will be a separate tutorial that will include one of our cool pro add-ons, WooCommerce cart and checkout action. Just stay tuned. So, I already created a simple page that says thank you, your request has been successfully sent. And it also has a subscribe button. Super simple and I'm sure you can do something similar. To make a redirect to this page, I'm gonna go back to my dashboard, JetForm Builder, Forms, and edit this form. If you haven't used post submit actions, I suggest you take a look at this video. Basically, these actions determine what's gonna happen to this form after submission whether it's gonna send an email, register a user, and so on. The list of all available actions can be found in the JetForm settings under the Post Submit Actions. In our case, we will be using Redirect to Page Action. Select it and click on Edit Action button. Under the Redirect to, we need to choose one of these options – Static Page, custom URL, current page, or inserted post. For our first case, I will set it to a static page, and then just simply select the needed page in the drop-down list. And here you can also add the query argument to the redirect URL if needed. That's it. Don't forget to update, and let's check if it works. So that's my form. I will fill it in. and click on Send button. Here we go. It redirected us to the Thank You page. Alright, now a bit complicated option for you. We will create a personalized message for this page. So, all our forms are stored under a certain post type. In my case, I created a custom post type that contains the list of meta fields that were repeated in the form I showed you before. So it has a name, meta field, phone number, wedding date, number of guests, and so on. They are exactly the same. This way, every form will be stored as a post, and the information the user entered will be saved under the appropriate meta fields. But how do you save a submitted form as a post? JetForm Builder has a post submit action that is called Insert Update Post. If you haven't used it before, I recommend you take a look at our setting up front-end post-submission tutorial. It's a very detailed video and it will help you to set everything up. And moreover, it has some of the main steps I will be kinda omitting in this video, so don't hesitate to check that video out. 
In the field map, I connected the form field name with the meta field of the chosen CPT. The data from the post can be displayed with the help of dynamic widgets. The next step is to create a listing since dynamic widgets won't work on the simple pages. First of all, we will quickly create a listing template and then we will add it to our thank you page. Of course, you need a jet engine to be installed and a CPT created for this option. If you haven't used a custom post type before, please take a look at this tutorial. Now I'm gonna go to the dashboard, jet engine, listings, add new, select post as a listing source, then choose your custom post type, set a name, and click on create a listing item. Here I will create just one section and place a dynamic field widget inside it. Dynamic field will pull the necessary data, so if I want to pull a name of the user who submitted the form, I need to set the source to metadata and then specify the field. Be attentive here as you need to select the same field that is present in your form. So in my case, I will set it to the name meta field of the wedding CPT. Don't worry if it doesn't pull anything and you have a blank space here. That just means that there are no posts yet, so dynamic field cannot display any data. I'm gonna scroll down to customize field output and enable it. And in the field format box, I will enter thank you, comma, then this will be replaced with the field value and then the exclamation mark. Of course, don't forget to style the text. Lastly, go to the listing settings right here and check if you have the right source selected for this template. Now we just need to go back to the thank you page and firstly I will remove the heading and then apply a listing grid widget. Under the general settings, select the listing you just created. There will be just one column. And also don't forget to set post number to 1. And that's it. To check if everything works properly, I'm gonna go to my website homepage. Click on this button that redirects to the page with the form. Now, once it's filled in, I will click on Send, and here is my thank you page. So, as you can see, the dynamic field widget pulled the name I previously entered to the form. Alright, the next option is for those of you who don't want to create a whole thank you page. What if you just want to hide the form and display a certain message? That can be easily done with the help of dynamic visibility. Dynamic visibility is a jet engine feature allowing you to adjust content visibility logic according to custom scenarios. You can create and apply display restrictions to different sections, widgets, and columns. So for this one, we don't need a redirect to the thank you page. That's why I will go back to my forms settings and simply remove this post submit action. Ok, the next step, find the page with the form and edit it with Elementor. What I have here is a section with the form. Without leaving this page, you can add any text, for example a thank you message that will show up after the form is submitted. Or you can use the same listing grid widget. The key point is to set conditions for a dynamic visibility that is, by the way, isn't hard to use at all. However, in our case, it's a bit tricky. First of all, select the form 
and open the Advanced tab. Right here you will see Dynamic Visibility, unfold it and click on Enable. The next step is we need to set the visibility condition type, whether to show this element or hide it. Since we need a form to disappear, it's gonna be hide. Click on Conditions. And now we need to select one from the drop-down list. Both for the form and the message of success, I will use the same condition equal, but you can also use contains and the result will be the same. If you haven't worked with the dynamic visibility before, I suggest you take a look at this video tutorial made by WPTATS. Once it's selected, you will see three more options – field, value and context. For the field, you need to enter a meta field name or select a dynamic tag to compare value to. There are lots of options here like custom field, term field, option, user field and so on, but in our case we can use only macros. Why macros? Since we have a form and an action that will be performed to this form, in other words, submission, we can link our condition only to this action. Every time after the user hits the submit button, this query parameter will be added to the URL, meaning that the form was successfully submitted. That's why we will be using macros. Once it's selected, there will be this small settings pop-up window with the list of macros. In our case, we need to set it to query variable and in the variable name enter status. OK. And lastly, add a value success. We set the conditions for the form and now we need to do the same thing with the message of success or thank you message. But this time you need to set the visibility condition type to show element. By the way, using the same condition and value, you can apply dynamic visibility to the whole section and hide several elements at the same time if needed. That's it. Let's check the form again. There is just a form, no other element. I'm gonna fill it in. And send the form. Here you go. The user stays on the same page, but now the form is hidden and this message shows up. So that was it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it and it was useful for you, please give us a like. Also, there will be a separate video on how to redirect a form to a WooCommerce thank you page. So stay tuned and don't forget to hit the bell to get the notification. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.